Now there's a trap here which people often fall into, I was about to say, after the move bishop to e3 because Okay, so I thought I'd restart my video series on just playing rapid games and talking you through um, while I'm playing because I definitely think people should consider playing a lot more rapid games um, it gives you a lot more time to think and talk through moves compared to blitz so okay we'll start with this one let's go for a Sicilian this particular game so I'm gonna go for one of my more favorite openings which is the Khan Sicilian after e6 we have pawn takes knight takes d4 and let's go for the move pawn to a6 knight to c3 we'll play the move queen to c7 now there's a trap here which people often fall into i was about to say after the move bishop to e3 because what you can do is play this move bishop to b4 which usually the english setup works against a lot of different openings but against the um, Khan it actually isn't very effective so in this position after Queen d2 I think black is already much much better after the move knight to f6 now he's forced to pretty much play the move pawn to f3 and then I can hit out in the center with pawn to d5 If castle's queenside here, you can play the move pawn to e5 and then pawn to d4. In fact, winning a piece in the center. It's a very nasty trap for white to fall into. Yeah, so bishop d3, I think same thing. If we go to the move pawn to e5 here. Yeah, so he doesn't have a move. I actually had this uh, position in over the board game as well, where uh, my, my opponent went 92 and um, tried to go for two pawns for the piece, but it wasn't enough. Even with the doubling of the pawns later on, when he takes my knight on f6, isn't quite enough. Let's see what white decides to do. This is definitely one of the reasons why I played the Khan for such a long time. It's because it completely shuts out the English attack, which is one of the most uh, popular systems uh, in the open Sicilian for white. So in this position, I think I can just take the knight off the board. There should be no reason why I can't take this. So it should just be a, a clear piece up here. So I can take here maybe. So we have to be careful not to allow uh, too much counterplay in this position. Um, I, I could also just play knight d7. I could also just castle. I could throw in the check on e7, that's a possible move. Okay, so if I take if I take the pawn on d5, he can't recapture. Maybe he goes bishop takes g7 in that position. I go rook across. Attacking the bishop. And then I'm sort of threatening to double his pawns. My pieces are getting back out. Um, it feels like it should be okay for me after knight takes d5. Yeah, I, I don't have to take it, but I don't see any reason why I can't. So, I mean, let's let's go for this. So for a lot of 
more um, beginner to intermediate players you definitely want to be careful especially when your material up to convert in the best possible way you don't want to allow your opponent on too many counter play chances so okay after the move castles I should just damage the pawn structure so let's go for knight takes c3 um, after this move I, I think we should just check now the king is definitely very very open and now I want to get rid of his bishop so then we can play this move queen b6 check and get some check meaning threats going so let's play knight c6 if rookie one check we'll go bishop to e6 if bishop takes pawn we have queen b6 check so everything should be okay here for black and it's okay so after bishop there it's a blunder so we could just go queen b6 check and yeah that's a very common trap to get our opponents into so that's a nice win to start out with mm -hmm.